Hello, my sexy muffins, and hope you're having great happy holidays, and welcome back to another video. In this video, we are doing the M&M Sharon and the M&M Starlin one, where this is the Christmas edition to that mini series. so you'll see this in the playlist and such. But this is the Christmas edition, aka the Sinmas edition, where there is an office party and then Secret Santa and all that. Maybe Secret Santa. I might not do Secret Santa, actually. But all that stuff and uh, going home and before Christmas or Sinmas Day in hell. This is loosely based because we don't know what Sinmas is like in hell yet. So, yeah, we are definitely, definitely playing it loosey-goosey. Anyways, let's get on to the video, shall we? And disclaimer, Mil Millie and Moxie are a canon couple and canon. This is just for fun and not to be taken seriously. They are not yonder in canon again. This is just for fun and not to be taken seriously. They would be sharing and caring for you, obviously, in this story, but not in canon. And they also simp in for fictional characters and ship in fictional characters is fine as long as you remember to separate fiction from reality and head canon from canon and all that good stuff. Yandere's are not ideal partners to have in real life. All that that is true. Also, if you remember, also please remember to separate fiction from reality and head canon from canon and all that good stuff. Thank you. Have ha good holidays. And let's get on to the video. It was the office party and you were walking uh, down the hall with your boyfriend and girlfriend, Millie and Maxie. They both were very excited for the Christmas party at the office. Well, not Christmas, the Sinmas party at the office. I'm going to have to remember to say Sinmas. If I say Christmas, I am so sorry. For the Sinmas party at the office, they did not get to celebrate it often and from where they come from because of family stuff or busy for the holidays. And now that they get to celebrate with you, they were over the moon. This was your first sin mess with them and they were very excited of course you guys did secret santa and you weren't allowed to get them since you were already getting them gifts and they weren't allowed to get you you ended up getting uh, you ended up getting uh who should you get you ended up getting luna instead and you gave luna uh Sorry, my brain is, I had zero sleep and it's 1147 the next day. I literally did not sleep last night. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways, you got Luna a nice uh, breakfast card and thing. You didn't know what to get her. You didn't know much about her as you haven't spent time with her. She thanks you for it and says whatever. Then she tosses her gift at Moxie, which surprise, surprise, it was a diet coupon for diet meals. I am not fat, Moxie says, glaring at Luna. And you walk over to him and squeeze him. Oh, we know you're not fat, sweetie. Uh, you say to him and kiss his cheek and he melts into you, nuzzling you a bit. Besides, if you were a little chubby, that would not be a bad thing at all. Just more of you to love. You say and kiss his cheek again, and then you pull away. Now, I got to go make sure everything is running smoothly with the eggnog, and that blitz tries not to spike it. You say and walk off. Blitzo had gotten... Millie for his secret Santa. And of course he gave her a giant adult fun time toy. And she was excited to use it on you. And all that good stuff. As the party continues, you are singing, dancing, and having a good time. Drinking eggnog, which was totally not spiked. And having a great time. Everything was running smoothly when you got caught under the mistletoe with Blitzo. Oh, no. He was a little bit hammered at this point, drinking away his sorrows and smashing on the n totally not spiked eggnog. And he bent you over and kissed you. And oh, my goodness, was this the day he fricked up? 
Instantly, Millie is on him, clawing at him like a mad woman, and Moxie has a gun ready to shoot him in the brains. A Minecraft. And he is very pissed off as well. Blitzo barely is able to get Millie off of him, and Luna has to hold her back. What the hell are you doing kissing my your name? Millie snarls at him, ready to tear his throat out. It was just mistletoe, Mills. Blitzo says it's not that big of a deal. She's she's probably kissed a ton of people. Was it gender neutral or was it she or he? Sorry, it's it's too late now. Too late to go back. <sighs> Millie growls, ready to punch Blitz in the face. Do not come near us. Moxie says, and takes your hand, and you both walk out with Millie glaring at Blitz, hoping for running after you. You are ushered out of the building and to their apartment, and you're a bit shaken up. You never knew they would attack Blitz for doing something like that. You sit there as they make hot chocolate. This may be a bad thing. This may be very dangerous, after all. You could very well be put in danger around them and you keep realizing how dangerous they are but you never leave them you keep being with them over and over no matter what because you loved them and they loved you even though their love was very obsessive you were willing to accept that but what will it do to blitz and luna if they try to hurt you or try to do anything like that even as a joke again you had no idea and so Moxie and Millie come over and hand you your gift. It was a collar with their name on it, a nice fashion collar with their names on it, and a key to lock it so that they each had a copy to the key so that you were theirs. You were flustered and didn't know what to say as Millie slipped it on you and sealed your fate. You are now their Christmas gift and they were never, ever letting you go. Anyways, I hope that you all enjoyed this, and if you would like to see more of this, comment below what you would like to see in the D, um, the Eminem Darlin miniseries. I would love suggestions for the Eminem Darlin miniseries, because then I can do more content. Like, if you want to see certain scenarios in it, what their day-to-day -day life is, what if they did got up to certain shenanigans, all that stuff. Also, I hope that you're all having a great holiday. I know I am, and for my Hanukkah one, Hanukkah, celebrating the Jewish, the Hebrew, all that stuff for, I hope that you all had a great Hanukkah. I know that it was from like, it ended on the 14th, like the 14th was last day, I think I'm pretty sure. So I'm sorry that I'm a little late on that. I hope you all had a great Hanukkah and I hope that you all are having great happy holidays again. And if there's anything else you'd like to see, comment below what you would like to see. I will do my best to do it. Uh, remember, I'm celebrating Christmas in July, so that means that there will be also Christmas-themed stuff in July because my family does the gift given and another Christmas dinner during July. You know, Christmas in July, cringy stuff. Anyways, on to the Patreon outro. Patreon outro. First off, I would like to thank my first patron, Gav. You are fabulous, wonderful, beautiful, stunning, gorgeous. Thank you, Gav. And thank you... Wicked Brony for being my second patron. Chef's kiss. You are stunning, beautiful, gorgeous, all that as well. And thank you for to my most recent uh, patron, Matt Weston. Thank you, Matt Weston, for being my third and most recent patron. Chef's kiss as well. You are handsome as well. And I hope that you all enjoyed this. If you would like to see more, comment below what you would like to see. Sorry if you're here in static in the background my fan is on because I'm feeling like I'm being cooked alive like a rotisserie chicken. Anyways, I hope that you all enjoyed and stay sexy. All my sexy muffins and happy holidays. Bye bye. Secret outro time. Secret outro time. Secret secret outro time. Secret outro. So if you were in this situation, would you be happy to be there, darling? Or would you be a bit freaked out? At this point, you've been dating them for some time. So you have committed to them. But would you start to feel a bit unnerved? Yes or no? Comment below. And stay sexy, all my sexy muffins. Happy holidays. Bye-bye.